Ah, uh, Ranjika Matsumoto, the spirited lieutenant of the 10th Division in the enigmatic world of the Godii 13, where the line between the living and the departed is as thin as a wisp of smoke. But who is this vibrant soul hidden beneath the cloak of mystery and spiritual power? Join me as we unravel the tapestry of Ranjiku's existence, a tale woven with threads of courage, camaraderie, and a touch of the supernatural. Picture this, Ranjiku with her long, wavy blonde hair cascading down like a waterfall of sunlight, her eyes as blue as the ethereal sky, and lips as captivating as a siren's call. Yet it's her beauty mark beneath the right corner of her mouth that adds an extra layer of allure. She moves through the Godii 13, dressed in the traditional shihakusho, robes hanging loosely to reveal her curvaceous figure, notably accentuated by her generously endowed bosom. But appearances can be deceiving, my friends. Ranjiku is not just a captivating visage, she's a personality as dynamic as the swirling winds of the soul society. A slacker with a distaste for paperwork and an unquenchable love for spirits, the kind you find in a bottle, not the supernatural kind. She's the Ean to Captain Hitsugaya's serious Yang, a dance of opposites that somehow finds harmony in the intricate steps of their relationship. Ranjiku, a master of the art of persuasion, isn't shy about using her feminine charms to navigate the turbulent waters of life. From attempting to bribe Ichigo Kurosaki with a charm offensive to entertaining the idea of disrobing if her fashion efforts go unnoticed, she's a woman unafraid to wield her allure like a sword. Her history, shrouded in the mists of Rukangai, unveils a connection with Jin Ikimaru, a man who rescued her from the brink of starvation. Their journey together, a testament to the unspoken bonds that form in the most unexpected places, ultimately leading Ranjiku to the world of the Shinigami. As the lieutenant of the 10th Division, Ranjiku's easygoing demeanor belies a keen sensitivity to the emotions of those around her. Whether it's Hitsugaya's concern for Momo Hinamori, the guilt shared with Azuru Kira when faced with betrayal or Orahime Inoue's struggles, Ranjiku's heart beats in rhythm with the sorrows and joys of others. Her favorite food, dried persimmon, echoes the sweetness of her friendship with Jin, while her aversion to bamboo shoots mirrors her strong distaste for overpowering tastes. And let's not forget her penchant for Japanese dancing and an extensive wardrobe that she gleefully collects during her excursions to the human world. Now let's delve into the realm of Ranjika's prowess. A master with her Zampakuto, Heiniko, she can weave an intricate dance of ash, transforming it into a lethal weapon that dances on the wind. With a simple command, a growl, she controls the ash with the finesse of an artist, slashing through the air like an ethereal blade. But her journey doesn't end here. Ranjiku is a work in progress striving to unlock the secrets of her Bankai, a quest made challenging by the capricious nature of her Zampakuto. Heiniko, much like its wielder, is moody, lazy, and self-centered, adding layers of complexity to the path of mastery. As we bid farewell to this chapter of Ranjiku's story, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of her past and present. A tale of growth, resilience, and the enduring spirit of friendship. With this said, thank you for embarking on this journey with me. Until next time, may the winds of the Soul Society guide your path. Thank you for watching and until next time.